just got dropped off by the Uber driver. Not Uber, taxi. Out here in Thailand. Fuck. I think this is the place. Hello? What the fuck has been going on with Hobson? Where has Hobson been? These are the questions I get all the fucking time every single fucking day. Okay. Oh, this is pretty nice. It's too goddamn hot. This shirt ain't gonna fucking cut it. Yeah, I told everybody I wasn't gonna put any more music out until I felt like doing that until I found myself and whatever the fuck that meant or means and yeah man over the past three years I've been super depressed I totally lost myself okay that's gonna have to do my dumbass only brought these kind of shirts I don't know why I did that okay oh man there we go I can't believe I'm fucking here right now you know in December of 2019, I actually realized I was like, yo, a lot of my fucking depression stems from ideas that I made up myself in my own fucking head of what my life should be. And then those ideas of what my life should be came from like the media or people around me or the music industry. And it's just a, a, a false reality that I, that I was living in. And I, and I realized that and I'm like, yo, these ideas are corrupting me. I've convinced myself that these ideas are mine and they were not mine. And I'm trying to fulfill this dream that isn't really my dream or my fantasy at all. You gotta have that. You have change for 1,000 baht? Okay, okay. Where are you at home, man? Los Angeles, California. California. Yes. When, when, when do we leave the boat? When do we go? Now. Okay. Oh, right. okay. Oop. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's okay. We're good. <laughs> the further I, you know, would jump into the music stuff, the more depressed I got. You know, it takes a lot of effort and energy to keep your fan base satisfied and all that shit, and it was just stressing me out on top of the life issues that I was going through. I've done a lot of therapy, yeah, okay. a lot of hypnotherapy as well. I've found some shit out about myself that I just never knew. Okay. Hello. No, right. Oh. oh, big wave? Oh, yeah, that was a really big wave, man. If I live a life where I don't have any expectations of anybody, and I just fully take control and take accountability of everything that's happened in my life, if I let go of what the world has taught me as far as ideas and what happiness is and what I should be doing in the music industry and how many cars and bitches and how famous I should be and how much money I should have, if I let go of all those ideas and just embrace the now of what I am, I feel like that'll be a good fucking start to me actually being, you know, my definition of happy. Living on a fucking island near the fucking beach with animals, monkeys, elephants. I fucking left and moved to Thailand. I just left, like, just packed my shit and fucking left. I'm here right now and it feels fucking amazing, I'm not gonna lie. And I also don't wanna pretend like I've reached my ultimate level of happiness, cause this is definitely a process and I have a lot of work to do, but I feel a lot better and I can honestly say that that dark cloud that I felt over me is gone and you know the skies are clearing up I, I don't feel this weight on my heart anymore and every day i'm just trying to better myself and understand that i don't need to put expectations into anybody i just need to focus on myself and focus on what i need to do to better my life and myself and not put that in anybody else's hands i don't want to let anybody else have control over me i don't want to give anybody that power i never will do that again Is there such thing as enough? Do I have to have the mentality of like, I made a million, now I gotta make five. Now I made five, now I gotta make 20. Now I made 20, now I gotta make a billion. Like, is that really the way to live life? Or is there, is there a point where you go, yo, I'm good, dog. I'm good.
Papa Hobson, do you got a new album dropping soon? Come here. Of course I got a new album dropping, bitch.